another DIY that I'm going to do. Um, I don't know if you remember from a previous haul, but I got this tray um, for like a couple dollars and I was going to do an, a nail project with this. Um, I'm going to paint it with chalkboard paint on the inside and this will be my nail tray so when I give myself a manicure I'm going to put all my manicure stuff inside of it. So let me go ahead and clean it out real fast because it's dusty. Clean that all out. And let it dry real fast. Yeah, see, it was originally at Rayleigh's for ninety-nine cents or nine dollar nine ninety-nine. Excuse me. So that's that. Let me get something to dry it so with. Hold I on found my little multi-use rag. I'm gonna dry it off completely, and then I'm gonna paint it. with this $3 chalkboard paint that I got from Target and a little sponge. So I'm going to shake it up. It's really cute on the inside, but I want it to be I want to be able to use it for everyday use. So let's see how this works. So since everything's black, it'll be cute. It doesn't have to be perfect, even if it goes up on the sides, it's okay because it's going to be all chalkboard and it'll all be cute. So, so far, so good. Now, I'm not a professional painter or anything like that, but I have a feeling this is going to be adorable when it's done. So I'm going to let this first coat dry, and then I'm going to add another coat. Let me just finish putting a little bit more on. I want a good amount on here. And I'm not sure if you're supposed to go in like the same direction, but that's what I think I'm going to do is just go in one direction. So I'm just layering on until I get it all covered up. And then I'll let it dry. Okay, so I'm going to finish painting this and then I'll show you the finished product with all my stuff inside of it. I'll be right back. To finish the nail tray, um, I actually um, finished, it looks really good. I had to cure it with the chalk and then you just erase it so that way you can write on it. And I did a picture and insert of the DIY nail tray. This is what it looks like since I painted it. And this is what I'm going to use it for. This little thing has all my nail stuff files and stuff on it and then I'm gonna put all my stuff that I need in this container right here I just have everything from my um, to take off my nail polish some q-tips clear strips I mean clear nail polish another nail polish just in case I take this to go with me everywhere and then I've got my toenail separators um, this is the OPI um, nail polish remover, so this is a good little to-go thing. I bring this with me when I go on vacation as well, but it's going to go on my nail bag. This is for my manicure. This is to dry my manicure, and, I mean the nail polish, just in case I want to do a Salon Effects nail strips or Essie nail strips. So it all fits on my nail tray just like this. I'm pretty excited about it. I hope you guys like it, and I hope you guys find one and make one of your own. Other than that, thank you for watching my DIY, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks, guys.